Hi, I'm Yasmin Fernandez and I welcome you to my world of cooking in What's Cooking Man? To choose your subtitles, go to the upper right hand corner to the setting button and switch on the captions and choose your language. Hi everyone, today we are going to make Malai Chicken Tikka. It's really yummy and delicious. I'm sure you all will enjoy this recipe. For that, I have taken 1 kg of boneless thigh which I have cut into medium sized pieces. We will also require 1 cup of curds, 2 tablespoons of ginger, garlic and green chilli paste, some mustard oil or any oil for that matter or ghee also can be used, half a cup of coriander leaves, 3 tablespoons of cream that is ghar ki malai, and in the masalas, I have taken lemon, I have taken 2 teaspoons of pepper powder, salt to taste, 1 tablespoon of kasuri methi, half a teaspoon of cardamom powder, 1 tablespoon of garam masala, 1 tablespoon of coriander powder, 1 tablespoon of cumin powder. First, we will marinate the chicken. The pan in which we are going to cook the chicken we will marinate the chicken in the same pan. So, to the chicken add the curds, add the cream, squeeze some lime, nicely, lovely. Half a lime should be more than enough. Put in the ginger garlic green chilli paste, put in the coriander leaves, Put in all the powdered masalas which I had mentioned and now give that a very good mix. Let the chicken mix very well with all the ingredients. I have also kept the coal to heat. Once we have mixed the chicken really really well, we will drizzle in some mustard oil, around 2 tablespoons, not more. That's it. And again give that a good mix. After having done all this, we will make a small well in the center and put a small steel plate. Add the hot coal, be careful when you are handling hot charcoal. And then again drizzle just a teaspoon of oil. Immediately close the lid and cover it with a cloth and leave it to marinate now for one hour at least. Two hours would be even better. The marination time is now over and we shall remove the charcoal. At this point, we will give the mixture a good stir and drizzle in a little more oil. I am using mustard oil but you can use any oil that you like. Cover the pan and on a medium high heat, Cook the chicken till it is done. Please stir every 5 minutes so that the chicken doesn't get burnt at the bottom. Give that a good stir. There, our chicken is on its way to becoming really, really delicious. Close the lid and continue cooking till the chicken becomes dry. Now it's almost dry. And now we will make the flame high and cook it with continuous stirring. Keep stirring, the aroma is so lovely, I can't tell you all. I hope you all are enjoying the recipe. Now, our chicken tikkas are ready, so we will switch off the gas. Again, we will put that same little steel plate, add the hot coal. Please be careful when you are handling hot charcoal. Drizzle just a tablespoon of oil, close the lid, cover the pan with a cloth and leave it like this for 15 minutes. 15 minutes are now up and we shall remove the charcoal. Our chicken tikka is now ready. The aroma has just filled the whole house. It's so yummy. So folks do like, share, subscribe, press the bell icon. And as always, the subscription is free. Please do subscribe. 
and let your lovely comments come in. I hope you all will enjoy this recipe as I have enjoyed making it for you. Thank you for watching.